Hey guys, welcome to Tips and Tricks. This is Viren here. And in this video, we will be installing an iOS emulator, uh, you know, on my Windows PC. So quickly, just to show you what exactly is an emulator. Uh, let me just bring it up. So you will hear this word simulator as well. So what we doing here is we will be installing iOS emulator. So basically, uh, you know, we will be setting up the uh, operating system, which is there on the iPhone. So we will set it up on my Windows PC. And then you will also hear this term called as simulator. So now just a quick difference between these two. Uh, simulator basically gives you a setup of the environment uh, of an operating system. So let's say, you know, I can, I can set up iOS simulator on my PC. Uh, but I can also set up iOS emulator. Now simulator will just give uh, a feeling or or the environment of an iOS, you know, uh, the way uh, the operating system behaves in an iPhone, I will get that feeling on my PC. Um, and I will get the same thing on the emulator as well. But the difference is the emulator uh, will behave like the actual system. So let's say if I'm running an app in iOS on my iPhone, I can run the same app in iOS simulator and you know it may or may not work and there may be some uh, challenges or some features may not work but if the same app which works in an app ios or oh, sorry i'm sorry an ios app if i run that same app in an ios emulator the app will run exactly the same way and it will not know the difference if it's running in an i device or if it's running in an emulator and uh, Emulator is also basically used for developing, uh, you know, native uh, applications. When I say native, uh, let's say if I'm if I want to develop some kind of Apple um, application that runs on iDevices, I can you know develop those on emulators, and I can even debug them and you know check them before they are rolled out to the actual device. So um, again, you can do some research on you know this, or you can Google it. The difference between emulator and simulator, they are quite same. But like I said, emulator gives you the actual feel of the uh, device as if you are in that iOS environment completely. So one such emulator is, uh, I've downloaded that, one such emulator is iPandian and it is available for free. There you go. I have the .exe. Okay, I will say yes to this. All right, next, 49 MB, I will accept this. Okay, there you go, it started installing. Well, this happens, you know, um, some people might want to use uh, the iOS emulation. That is, they want to see how the iOS works in an iPhone. And before they want to buy an iPhone or they want to simply uh, you know use iOS or the uh, games available on iOS and they want to play on PC and they still want to keep using their Android phones so there may be various reasons where, you know why people would want to use iOS emulators or for that matter Android emulators All right, Let's see, scan. Okay, I don't want to do any kind of repairs as of now.
all right so i've closed that okay there you go all right so now i will get a feel of the eye device you know just the way there you go so um, this looks like uh, just the environment that you have in an iphone or an ipad you have an app store as well these are the applications let me just open app store and see if we have games there there you go exactly like an iphone or an ipad so uh, let me quickly see if I can actually download something and you know play that game. Okay. Yeah, I guess they have limited games around here. Okay, kill time, it's already there. I will get this. Okay, let's explore some more options. Now if I go to settings here, now this is how exactly the settings are in an eye device in my iPhone as well if I go to general let's see if it expands a little more no so I guess this is more like a simulator okay and then in the right corner the bottom you have this power off button as well and I click on browse that is how the look is what else Frankly, uh, I was expecting something more out of this. I mean, this is what I found on the net that I find in emulator is the best, but it's not that great. Let me open messages. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure where did it get this so many contacts from frankly I don't know any of these so I'm not sure all right guys so uh, you know I think I will search for another emulator and we'll get back in another video all right thank you